Larry Fink sees his country through different eyes. Despite the era of digital pictures, he still works with film and chooses his subjects carefully. His flash has become his trademark. It highlights the important things in an otherwise dark space. Fink loves the discrepancies in life, the world of the poor, and of the rich, the boxers, and the bankers. Well, ever since Reagan, actually, we've been working on the principles of, of the trickle-down. Somehow or another, they thought that acquiring to the point of being satiated would be such that there would be so much bubbling wealth on top that it would trickle down by the uh, past the champagne glass into the earth and somehow or another fertilize the population. Larry lives on a farm in rural Pennsylvania. Together with his wife, the sculptor Martha Posner, an old VW Beetle with no motor inside, and 75 different animals. His hometown, Martins Creek, has only one coffee shop. Mary Piccini has been living here for the past 81 years. Her parents came to the States from Italy. She worked at the local post office as a clerk. This time she wants to vote for Obama. There has to be a change. Things have to be different than they have been for the past few years. And I'm hoping that Obama can do it. The financial crisis worries her. That's why she wants Obama to win. She simply trusts him more on the economy. I come from the area of the Depression era. I mean, I was born in 27, so I didn't suffer as much as my other family, but I know what it's like not to have food on the table. I know what it's like to wear a hand-me-down. I know what it's like to have the, your father work and then two days later not work. So I remember those, and I don't want my grandchildren to go through that. Pennsylvania was for a long time a swing state, a state not clearly Republican or Democrat. For the time being, Obama has a clear lead. Pennsylvania was once a rich industrial state with steelworks, slate and cement production. In the past 20 years, many factories have had to shut down. Young people have left for greener pastures. Today, Pennsylvania has the second oldest population in the United States. Many people feel this industrial decline is symptomatic of that affecting the whole of the country. went from being a strong and respected and generous nation to being despised and broke and meddling and it's it hurts me deeply music is good for productivity Larry Fink is one of America's best-known photographers. His photo essays are published in leading magazines. For Vanity Fair, he followed the Democratic election campaign. The McCain factor and the radical right factor is about America, American exceptionalism which means that we are the reigning power and will remain to be so, Adam, forever, uh, which is not necessarily an accurate position uh, in how you live in the world. Yeah, there's a picture of mine right there. Right? Yeah, this has to be... Larry Fink has always been left-leaning. His disdain for George Bush is clearly expressed in his photographs. He likes Barack Obama more than Hillary Clinton. His photo of Obama in the crowd is already iconic.
When I traveled with Obama, there was nothing about him which seemed to uh, gurgle from within with a certain kind of sense of internal corruption. He was clean to the core. Obama is for him a beacon of hope, a president who could represent a different, a better America. Barry and his wife Martha are convinced that Obama will make it. He's not part of any dynasty that we know about, you know. He basically came from a, you know, a single mother. He's truly what could be considered inside the fable of the American dream to be the, the, the personification of, what it, of why America is great. America is no longer, for the most part, a shining, a shining you know, culture on the hill. People see it as, uh, as not a failed experiment, but certainly uh, one that's quite tired. You know, that doesn't, um, that's basically, you know, transporting its culture of fast foods and fast everything and fast deals and stuff like that to the world. And it itself basically becoming more and more hollow in its center.